Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen. Episode number 179, daily recap, quick bite. We're going to open up with a huge shout out to Phil uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick rep, uh, update on market and some analysis, and then we're going to be doing a quick, quick fire on some other stuff. Um, but first, we're going to do a huge shout out to BitBoy J. One. Um, and him, his Lottie, um, <laughs> NFT project making it to spot number one in open seat, uh, today for, uh, art collections. Uh, so congrats to BitBoy J. That is an amazing achievement getting, uh, pretty much up there. Good job, man. Uh, the rest of the market. Oh man. It has been crazy with all of the analogies of different things getting shot down, travel hundreds of thousands of millions of light years, uh, through space to get shot down by a Canadian F 22. That is not how I think it is. So we know it. It's probably not that, but you never know. Uh, alternatives, uh, the fear and greed index is neutral at 48 today. Sentiment coin from the market today is ICP, Internet Computer. Um, ICP is doing some cool things. I actually have a couple freebies for ICP that I can give away if I see you IRL. Hit me up on that, and I'll get that to you. Uh, the market is bearish right now, 44.43 out of 100, with a buy pressure of 47.54 and a sell pressure of 52.46. Liquidations. 10.2 million liquidations happened in shorts today with 1.6 million liquidations in longs. I will be honest. I like to see that, but I really hate seeing people lose money. If the, you know, I, I tell people long, go long, uh, go long or go home. Uh, but BTC has dominance at 39.66%. DeFi dominance is at 4.24% and USDT is the dominance at 6.45. Total market cap of the market today is $1.061 trillion. ETH market cap at $182 billion. DeFi market cap is at $44.9 billion. Total volume today is at $59.2 billion. So number one gaming today is UFO gaming token. Baby Doge, number three on search for tokens today, with Camelot token from Grail and Arbitrum, really good DeFi platform there. Give it a check out, Camelot. They have some cool uh, incentives right now. Stacks uh, from STX is number five, and Alien Word Worlds TLM. Did you just fucking flush? What? Did you just fucking flush? I did not flush. I didn't cuss. Stacks. Flush. No, I didn't. Like flush a toilet. No, someone's using a blender. They're looking at me and saying sorry for using a blender. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm not that cool. I, I did all of that tonight. Um, it's one of those things where we got to go, we got to go. But .USDT is up, holding at uh, 6.3 market price uh you know, right now is 6.19. So uh, I say long that bitch um, with the stop loss at 5.75 would be my recommendations. Not, uh, you know, do what you want to do. So as we end up, we're going to be doing a quick re rebite. Yesterday was an amazing meetup with Pudgy Penguins. Uh, got to meet up with about 15 other penguins. Uh, and then a couple other joined us later on in the night. So like 18 penguins got together. Uh, throughout uh, MoMA, and I'll be airdropping out a QR code for an NFT on Tezos um, of a really cool AI installation that they have going on at uh, the MoMA going on right now. So that's sort of cool. And then on the same side of things, Korean barbecue stuff the face, billiards, awesome time, and then it was an amazing night for the rest of the time, and that was how it ended. So, Phil, Shout out to you. How's life? Brother, it is great. Um, good call on the NFT. Um, I scanned it, but I was too late. Um, that shit was fire. 
Can we talk about the aliens and the impending um, possibility that we're all about to become enslaved? Uh, I do not think that the that aliens would have traveled, um, you know, billions and millions of light years only to be shot down. But hold on one second. I got to go give a hug to someone. And as we returned, I was just brought a very fancy... I like think like a chocolate Slurpee with uh, a piece of chocolate sticking out of it. So I'm going to have a chocolate Slurpee in a martini glass, and I'm down for that. Nice. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, very quick air defense return. It's one of those things where um, the administration got too much uh, kickback for letting things fly around. And uh, now they're shooting them down as quickly as they can. I don't think they're shooting them down as quickly as they can. I think they're getting collecting as much information. But it's just one of those things. Um, testing defenses. See what gets through. What Actually, where does it go? If you let a balloon go, where does it come down? You know? That's my thoughts on that. Um, hold on. Also, in good news, Simplex now supports, oh my gosh, I forget the name of the wall, or not Simplex, but uh, Banksa now supports, what's the KD wallet? There's a KD wallet that I know, I forget it. What is, what is that called, Phil? X wallet? Koala wallet? Zelcor? Koala wallet. Koala wallet. Oh, what happened? The wallet is now supported to where you can buy KD via credit card. Really? Interesting. Yeah. All right, so are the aliens evading bullish or bearish? Uh, bearish. Bearish on that. I think it's bullish. Ah, uh, I don't think so. You know why mm -hmm. I think it's bullish? Why? Because if the aliens evade, that means the money printer has to turn back on. Mmm. Because that means we have to go to war and we have to start fucking funding a whole bunch of crazy shit. I mean, like, okay, I know this is just, like, conspiracy talk. I know this is just crazy, but it's 11.46 um, on a Sunday, and we're all just kind of, like, fucking around. This is, this is not George are... Norrie's Coast to Coast. What? This is not George Norrie's Coast to Coast. I don't know what that is. Oh, I just aged myself there, didn't I? This um, AM were radio you born in the 90s or 80s? 80s. Dude, you're that old? I'm that old. I, and actually, I was born a decade past that. So, yeah. Dude, really? Really. Dude, I didn't know you were that old. I, I'm a DJ of the highest degree. Bro, I, damn. Damn. Do you need some Advil? No, I sat down on a hard. <laughs> I, I sat down on a hard surface to give my back a a, a, a chance to reset. I take ibuprofen, eight hundred milligram, and I'm looking at a bottle of Advil. I very much not not liking you right now, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I did not know you were that old. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. You look like you're in your like late twenties. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Like. I did not know you were a fucking boomer, but that's cool. I'm Gen X. Um, dude, if you were born in the seventies, you're fucking boomer. Uh, Gen X. Okay, whatever you say, boomer. Oh my gosh, child, child, um, child, child, child. Uh, boy. It will be one of those things where I tell you to get off my grass, but I want you to go touch grass. Did you touch grass today, Phil? I actually did touch grass today. Did you touch grass today? No, because you live in the city, and there's no fucking grass there. There was some grass. Was it, like, squeaking through the cracks on the concrete? Maybe. And I might have leaned against a tree or two. Oh, wow. They still have that in the city? They haven't cut it down yet? Yeah. No, I, I went to the Upper East Side. That's fire. 
Um, hey, I have a question for you. How do you get normies into crypto? Hey, have you heard about the good word about crypto? Normally, Literally, I'll give them like an NFT. Like, okay. I don't know you how devious this is. I will do that sometimes. Um, like if they do download a, a Solana Phantom wallet, I'll I'll send them a Phantom NFT. If uh, they're like, I have a MetaMask, but I've never done anything with it, and I don't know how to, I will send them a little like BSC, or I'll send them their N an, an NFT that you know has zero potential on anything, or it might. Who knows? You never know. Um, yeah, you never know with this shit. And uh, you know. And sort of get them involved if they've t heard about it and talked about it with their friends, but their friends have never taken the time to show them. I give them a link for like uh, crypto.com or not crypto.com if they live in a city, but uh, Coinbase. And uh, I'll send them if they're a little bit into that already and they want to learn how to get into future trades. I get them into MexC. You'll show them MexC over KuCoin? Yep. Why? You don't need to KYC. Well, you don't need a KYC with KuCoin. Yeah, uh, I like the the trading features within um, MexC better, um, especially Fair on enough. a desktop and on a phone. The, it's a better, cleaner UI. And then at the same time, MexC has. Uh, I know KuCoin start just recently started it up too, but MexC has a uh, demo trading features, um, so that you can see real price action, and so you can sort of learn cause and effect on different things. Okay, but I use both platforms, KuCoin and MexC. Personally, I'll use uh, spot good trading bots within MexC or within KuCoin. Sometimes I'll do an Infinity Grid, um, but uh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to tell you what I did today. I was at a Super Bowl party, and people asked okay. me what I do, and I was like, I do digital marketing for cryptocurrencies. Okay. And they kind of like all looked at me and they go, oh, yeah, FTX. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, that stuff's a Ponzi, right? Is that the kind of vibe that you get? Sometimes, a lot of times. A lot of times it's people are, are like, you know, they're like, I don't understand it. And I'm like, let's talk about it this way. You know, um, you know, I go from two different routes. One is, you know, you know how to use your app. Does your bank really move your money around? Would you like proof that your money really is moved around when it's when you say it is or you want it is? And someone's just not pushing some ones and zeros? And they're like, yeah. So then I talk about ownership. Um, if they look at me like I'm a little bit more crazy, like my money just moves like the bank makes it does. And I'm like, do you know how many layers of permission are between you and me if you wanted to sell me $50? They're like, yeah, just my permission. I'm like, actually, there's seven. You have to give permission. Zelle then approves it, sends it to your bank. Your bank then approves it, which sends it to Zelle. Zelle then approves it and sends it to the money transfer agent. Money transfer agent then approves it, sends it to your bank's Zelle. Your Zelle then sends it to your bank. Your bank then promotes it within your account and then, lets, and then approves it for final approval to Zelle on your side to say that it's gone through. So it's one of those things that at any time one of those people could say no. Not saying that they are, but, you know, they could. So and that's one of the argument pieces. I don't even use it as an argument. I use it as a conversational piece because I don't – I choose not to argue with people about this stuff because there's no Facts. point to it. I never argue with these people. You know, um, because my, my job is to show them why they would want to. And so and so the biggest thing I do is I say, how about this? How about I give you a platform where you don't have to put any money in whatsoever. You don't have to attach it to any bank accounts. You know, if you do, you get 10 to $25 um, bonus, but if you don't, still pay you about $60, 45 to $60 over the next two months teaching you about crypto and crypt Coinbase's learning earn. And they're like, I don't got to do anything for it. What can I do with it after? I'm like, you could collect it, trade it, turn it into whatever other token they have on their platform, send it to anyone you want. They're like, oh, okay. Why don't I make a lot of these accounts? I'm like, because you have to, you know, you have to KYC into it. What's KYC? Know your customer. And they're like, oh, okay. But that's still pretty cool. Thanks. You know. Yeah, I think um, 
I like giving NFTs and or a few coins away just to get people in the ecosystem, you know? Yep. I love doing that stuff too. You know? The one one thing that's hard with, with a lot of the DeFi wallets these days is they've they've made a made it a little bit harder for you to make like hot wallets because they want you to write down your seed phrase first before you do anything. Um, and then from there, you then have to uh, then put in your 12 words or a combination of them. Oh, I heard female's voice. My boy Taco actually has a female over. God damn. Actually, Phil, I'm over. And Eskimo is my partner. So um, she made me the little chocolate Slurpee uh, things. As Wait, I, you... Yeah. I didn't... Uh, Taco, I'm learning more about you, dude. I Wow. I hope your mind is now blown. Yeah, nope. I'm upstairs in the in bedroom, and then her and her roommate are downstairs. So, um, yeah. Taco. Like, are you, does the age of you start with a three or a four? What do you think it starts with? Four. Well, why do you think that? I don't know. I just think you're old as fuck now. <laughs> uh, uh, the, man. Oh, well. Hey, it doesn't matter. What does matter is the transparency on everything else. Is it a five? Ouch. That hurts. Yes. So the... Oh, it is a five. It, no, no, it isn't. <laughs> All right. So, so you're, the, if you're saying it is a five, then your judge of character of age is you think that I'm half the age of what you think I am. <sighs> hey, I thought you were like 27. Yep, no, at 11. Actually, it's almost my birthday. My birthday's in April. I turned 39. Oh, shit. Okay, right on. Yep, so uh, right after NFT NYC. Dude, or nice. during, during NFT NYC. Bye. So, yeah. Sure. But um, um, I will be more than happy to get you a car to AARP. Thank you. Um, they, they send those out for free. <laughs> and I will I will appreciate my discounts. I'll just steal my mom's and <laughs> give it to you. Comes with AAA as well. Nice. Nice. Yep. So um, but yeah, no. But that's sort of my review on the market today. Uh um, to Han Dynasty mm -hmm. to, tonight for dinner. Oh my you gosh. Where? To Han Dynasty. Oh fire. Yeah, there's one in Brooklyn too. Um, there's another one uh, in. Um, Are you in Manhattan? Like, no, nah, I am. I'm on. Yeah, I'm at like I'm in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you were supposed to come over here Friday and like call me, and you never called me. Um. Okay. I got. I don't know what the hell I had. I got so sick on Friday. I wasn't like coughing. I wasn't sneezing. Like I just felt like like a tr like an eighteen wheeler hit me. I stayed in bed the entire day. I slept for like thirty something hours. Yeah, I, I I don't know. Like I just felt so beat. I didn't do anything Friday. Oh man! All right. I was going to, and then I just poof. I was out. Nice. Hey, are you uh, are you into like PCs? Uh, I am. Do you have a gaming PC? Um, I do have a gaming PC. Do I use it for gaming? No, I use it for art and AI stuff. I I, I carry an MSI Crosshair uh, Argus Seventeen uh, with a thirty thirty sixty in it, two solid. Uh, state one terabyte drives, 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, redlined and overclocked. 
like a motherfucker. Can yeah. I uh, give you a game, Alpha? Some Alpha on a game? Sure. High on life. High on life. Dude, do you like Rick and Morty? I do like Rick and Morty. The guys that like- created... Okay, and uh, what was the other one? Um, it wasn't just Rick and Morty. It was also like the... Rick and Morty, and then the other one with the kids. It's also like the space one. What was that called? Oh, um, Lost Space. I know uh, it was on TBS. No, it was made by the same guys with. uh... It's called High on Life. Yeah. Dude, that game is. That game, I haven't played a game like that in a long time. It was extremely fun. I highly, highly encourage it. Yep. I'd give you my Steam login if you wanted it, if you were cheap and you didn't want to pay. But, like, dude, that that game was really, really good. Um, fuck, what is the other thing called? It was Rick and Morty and then... Um, what was the other show that was like Rick and Morty? It was like the two kids. It was like same kind of premise. They were um fuck. I am not sure. It's on Netflix, hold on. I'm minting from a contract right now. Solar opposites. I have not seen that one. Dude, it's very similar to Rick and Morty. It's a really good it's a really good one. And um they uh a lot of the voice actors from that and from um Rick and Morty are in it. It's it is just a really good game, man. Okay. If oh, you it's... have if you liked Rick and Morty, you'll like this game. Yeah. If you like Rick and Morty for that like really dark humor, you'll love this game. Yeah. I did not know Taco had a Mrs. Taco. I also did not know Taco was a boomer. I'm learning a lot tonight. Nah. Oh my gosh. Well, mint, mint, mint. Do, 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 do. Mint Next talker is going to tell me that he was like a doctor or some shit in his old life before he became crypto. Um, I worked in hospitals and facilities. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm right on it. I'm fucking on the money tonight. <laughs> I worked with IDD and uh, adults. Um, uh, oh, yeah, you worked with, I, I remember you told me this. You worked yeah, with like special, special needs adults. Yeah, I didn't want to finish it. I didn't know if I was allowed to say that word. Yep. Nope. You're allowed to say that word. Um, okay. But, uh... Nice. Oh, man, I'm having an issue. Con- I, I have to get up on front of the computer and, and mint this thing. Fucking Solana, am I right? Nope. E. Oh. oh, it's on E? Yep. Even worse. I gotta support friends. Yeah, facts. You know, and when um, friends do killer shit, you gotta freaking support them. I feels. Have you ever had any? Um, have you? Okay. I've explained crypto to some people, and I, I've noticed this. Okay. Women are a little bit more interested and willing to listen. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the guys that I talk to that have that are older, and I'm I'm saying like in the older category, like way older than you. Okay. Like the 50 and 60 plus. They kind of just like write it off. I've noticed. Yeah. Because they, the they, women, they, care. they don't the need, women like, just go, I don't understand it. Yeah. Because the, the, 
so women, they, you know, they've started to hear about it a lot and, you know, it's, you know, a lot of the influences are, st- are starting to make, um, and a team membership pieces. And so they just haven't had a chance to get into that. And, um, yeah. So, um, It's one of those things for, um, I don't know, let's see, contract name DGEN. <laughs> contract name. Right, uh, right contract, no. Right when did proxy. you first get into crypto? Uh, I got into crypto 11 years ago. Damn. My no, boy that's, Taco Whale. That's, that's a, the wrong contract wrong wallet disconnect connected disconnect Marco, where is the safest place to leave funds in what time in what way huh? in in blockchain yeah um for one individual or for multi-set piece what's a multi-set piece um i would say either gnosis safe uh, tied to ledgers or, uh, you know, so two out of two. So meaning you need two different addresses that are tied to two different ledgers for approvals. Um, and, uh, you know, what like if, you can, uh, your crypto is not on ledger. You don't need it on a ledger. You can put it in Gnosis safe. You just have ledgers as your secondary set. So technically it's four approvals. When in real, you know, from only two different contracts or two different addresses. Okay. You know, so, um, yeah. I'll tell you what I what I do, and I want you to tell me if this is good or bad. Okay. I leave majority of my crypto of my wealth on a wallet mm-hmm. that is offline, and mm-hmm. I never interact with this wallet in the terms of connecting to anything. This wallet never gets connected to an open sea. It never gets connected to anything. It stays there. And the only time that I interact with it is when I need to pull funds off or I add more funds. And I use a secondary wallet to transfer the funds over to. Yeah. Well, and so that the, the... secondary is where I interact with. If you... So... Uh, if you're thinking of this as like a, a step down tree in a way, yeah. Uh, at the top you have your cold, your collector, you know, your, your cold wallet that, um, that's, that's, that's your, that's your depositor. You know, you're like, yep, I'm, I'm not touching this for a while. That's, that's, that goes there. That wallet only interacts with one other wallet to and from, or technically only receives uh, you know, because it should only be receiving from one wallet. And so the your next step wallet is well, sort of what you're calling it, your pull your pull to and your pull from wallet, you know, not necessarily your hot wallet that you connect to everything, but sort of where your funds can sort of sit. And then you have your hot wallet. You know, so I call yeah. them, you know, and then from your hot wallet, that's like the money that you go play around with and you're, you're sending to people, you know, um, you're interacting with DeFi protocols that, you know, um, and then below that you have like a minting wallet that you can then, you know, go throw a little stuff in from your hot wallet, go connect to some weird sites, you know, and then those are that sort of, you know, you follow that tree to pass things up. Um, you know, when you get things, you know, so that's sort of a, a good little, little way to do it. Okay. You know, car. So. Was it Ethereum or Bitcoin your first? Bitcoin. Okay. Ethereum didn't come out to like 2015. Word. Uh so there's a couple other weird little things that I'd done, but yeah, Bitcoin was my first. Uh... What other so, little weird ones? I don't even remember off the top of my head, but there were some weird other things. 
you know, other forms of digital cash and stuff. But it was really just, it, well, there was, it wasn't a proof of work or proof of stake or anything like that. It was just, you know, that type of stuff. Ah. You know? Yeah. Gotcha. Nice. IXP is delisted on BitMart, and the criminal mastermind Jod Farah has disappeared from Twitter. Oh. Saitama is a bigger scam. Well, that is the way sometimes, but... Oof. Dear IXP investors, hold on, I'm just going to read this. Oof. 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 This shit fucking rugged. What rugged the today? Impact XP. It was a fucking rug. Never even heard of it. Shitcoin. Okay. Hmm. What does that tell? What does that tell you about it? Um, I'm going to be straight up with you. Majority of ERC twenties are just shit coins. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have some actually like decent ERC twenties, but everything that is on that like ERC twenty like quick launch shit you know what i'm talking about like that like real quick launch like if you wanted to launch a token like anything that's built off of that is just the shit <laughs> yeah um. why didn't you go to the pen blockchain thing the what blockchain thing and blockchain. When when was that? Um, fucking Roman. Roman told me it was like uh, yesterday, Saturday, I think. Okay. Um, yesterday was a pudgy, uh, pudgy penguin. Or no, it was Friday. I think I don't know. It was one of these days. Oh, okay. Um, I was not aware of it, and uh, yeah. Boom. There we go. And that is how we do that. Um, uh, yay, dumb things. God, you know what's so nice? What? Being able to stand up and not have my whole body fucking crack. Child. Child. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, this is really nice. Um, what's that? My back not hurting. You want to know what else is also nice? Walking into a bar and not having to dig out my ID to show them my age. Um. All right, fuck you. You got me on that one. <laughs> Yeah, that's been one. Of, yeah, but it's good. I don't know. Uh, other weird things today. Let's see here. There is uh, what was it that I've um, I've been literally just been not shit posting, but posting um, uh, pudgy penguin stuff all day. Not a hard thing to do. Had a great time eating. Got to go to um, uh, 
Korean barbecue yesterday. That Are you 100% crazy. crypto now, or do you still have a bank account? I have a bank account. Oh. You need a bank account. You need a bank account. Why? Eh, because, uh, because, uh, Coinbase doesn't take direct deposits. Yeah, they do. Oh, well, they don't work with Zelle. Uh, So. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, no. That's one of the things. You know, I got the best news today from Kronos NFT. They were the top. They were, they 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 clean. They put out better news today on on Canada closing the airspace over Lake Huron, um, and didn't even make it a really big weird creep creepy thing like uh, CNN or Fox or MSNBC or anyone else. But yeah. So uh, did your uh, did your uh, team score the final goal in the match? No, they got that shit today? fucking stolen from them. Yeah, no, I saw that. They actually didn't have it stolen from them. They freaking lost it and gave it up, and they got stomped on. Dude, they got they fucked it up so bad. They they okay. They they had two plays in there that they just fucked it up so bad. They they fucked it up. Yeah, they tried too hard. Uh... Oh, they, they didn't try hard enough. I, I, I feel like they didn't try hard enough. And when a game comes down to a kick, that's pretty awesome. I love it. They gave them two score two 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 scores already there. Yeah. It was like, come on, dude. Really? But you know what? Here, you want some you want a DGen move today? Yeah, give me a DJ. Um, I need to make some money. All right. Let's go share this in the Jumbotron. Now, uh, Ether Mail, you sign up, you get some uh, uh, ETG, I think is what the token is called, for free. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's not going to drain my wallet? No. It, it's fun. It's, it's, what you chain have is a, it? It's ETH, it's mail. Oh, Basically, I don't have any Ethereum, so okay. You don't you don't need Ethereum. It just it just wallet connects to prove your wallet address. Sign a message. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. And uh yeah. There's no Ethereum. I don't use Ethereum anymore. Yeah. And then there, let's do that one. Here is DJ play number two. Fuck, it's only wallet connect? Yeah. I can I got this. Do 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 do. So that allows you email. I can use my password. Yay encrypted email. Um because we know Proton Mail doesn't keep keep their promise of not handing over um emails. And we're going to share this because we want to highlight BitBoy J and hit number one today uh, for trending in art memberships. What do you think about apes? Bored apes. I like them. They're, you know, what they showed was that things can be done one? better together than. Uh, what uh didn't you mint one? Mint what? A board eight? We don't talk about things in the past. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Oh, you had a friend, never mind. So oh, come on, piece of shit fucking work. Well yeah, no. I do want to do a quick shout out to Samantha for joining us tonight. I hope you are doing well. Onboarding people over 60. I love it. Phil, the next time she has a space, you should go learn because that way you can then learn how she's there to onboard your grandparents. Okay. 
Luca. She is, and then she's a bundle of joy at the same time. All right. So, um, but yeah, no, that is what we have today. So, uh, trying new DeFi protocols, trying out uh, wallet-based mail, and huge shout out to uh, Bitboy J today. And Rancid, I see you joining us. Welcome, welcome. Um, we are just, we're going to see if we can get some people quickly up to help with this rollout close tonight. Um, and as we close this space up, it is always great. Phil, other than proof of stake is boss, words of wisdom. Yo, the aliens are going to attack Get your booty holes ready, because they're going to be probing everybody out here. Ah, Phil. What you do on a weekend may not be what everyone else does. <laughs> so, uh, words of wisdom for me to you is, uh, yeah, uh, I do Prosper or Advil. <laughs> I do. Uh, ibuprofen, man, all the way. Ibuprofen, 800 milligrams is boss. All right. All right. I love your words of wisdom. Ranted, thank you so much for joining for as we close this shop up tonight. Uh, how are you doing? Ranted, you're on mute still. Oh, sorry. I was uh, talking to the kid. I'm getting him ready for, for bed. My bad. Ah, amazing. Yeah, no. Hey, um, being a parent is an amazing thing. So never apologize for your children uh, unless they're doing something wrong. But And even still, don't apologize. <laughs> right? Make the yeah. no. I mean, sometimes they, they need to do the apologizing, right? Yeah, exactly. But, uh, any words of wisdom as we close up tonight's space, Rancid? Um, no, man. I just popped in. I was a little bit late, so I didn't really uh, catch anything. But um, I mean, the market's looking pretty decent in terms of uh, NFTs and that. So, Ooh. yes, it is. Yes, it is. To see um, we will. Um, it is one of those fun things that we get to see um, as we get to see the market play out. Um, so my alpha today is if you can buy Liberty Square or the hollowed on Solana, there's some cool stuff coming out. Join the discord, see what's going on there. If you want to go see firsthand, um, Liberty Square has been rocking it for a minute. So, um, always bullish on them. Pudgy penguins, you, you got it. The igloo is strong, you know, um, that is my big piece on that. Um, other than that, I always, you know, want to end this on a good note. So we will end with words of wisdom. A closed mouth cannot be fed and you cannot feed a closed mouth. I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Our daily recap was good and amazing as the market is at neutral right now. Um, I see I am bullish is my sentiment. I am I am excited to see where we go over the next couple of weeks, um, especially with ETH Denver coming up and a lot of projects and Layer 1s announcing themselves um, outside of the Ethereum ecosystem. So there's some really cool stuff coming up. Um, be on the lookout for Oasis. And um, nope, I can't say their name yet. So uh, I, have, I have to wait until the 16th to say their name. But it's always fun to see where these things go. I did put out a new test net that is up. So um, if you do like being uh, seeing how things go, trustable test net is up and ready. Um, go interact with test net, get some free tokens, see what you can do. Participation always proves to be of worth um, and doesn't cost you anything. Um, I want to thank you all for joining. And with that, Phil Rancid, whoever helps me best, uh, helps me first with the best joke on the face of the planet. Not wait, knock. like ten seconds. Like ten seconds. Um, I just want to also plug uh, Kadena Secret Gardens. They just had a uh, free public mint today. So if you can go download an X wallet or a Koala wallet and go grab some free NFTs from them. Send me that link. You know I got I an X wallet. 
All right. Thank you. And as we end this, knock, knock. Who dare?